Freshly showered Robbie here to talk about what's going on with King's Court. Wait, is, is this turning out to be a super hype set? Oh, putting the Egyptian gods in as an alternate rarity to everything? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I, I never would have guessed. But uh, let's dig out in the Margo watch, shall we? A.K.A. King's Court is going to the moon. Of living crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more freshly showered Robbie. All right, so what's going on with the market today? So I've only been able to find the very, very few collector's rares on the market this early, and these cards are astronomical in value, and we're here to approach the comical aspect of things. The first one that you're going to find on the uh, market is a very nice reinforcement of the army at a nice 200 and fifty dollars. You also have PayPal credit. Uh, that's a hot, no interest loan for six months. But anyway, two hundred and fifty dollars right now for this. This isn't gonna hold at all. All right, like <laughs> literal joke. Uh, what else is going on? Oh, I also found this. This was also. I think the rivalry looks really nice. There are two rivalries up on eBay right now. There's this one, which was by far the cheaper one. All right. With like 110 the other one's a hundred and fifty freaking dollars why because this is how people want to treat pre-sales all right also i wanted to point out here that uh this was actually the cheapest mat i could find currently for Yu Gi Oh day that's not to say that these won't eventually drop but for those of you that are uh always kind of curious what's going on i saw these about 150 to the 200 market. These mats typically do die in value over time, but as of making this video, clown cars go $150. All right, so anybody gonna be surprised by this next bit of info? I have to tell you, King's Court boxes are going, all right? Yeah, uh-huh, yeah, they're $80 plus now. After the weekend, after all the reveals, after everybody was like, I don't want to buy this set because I don't want to take a, you know, there's Utopic Zero. That's like the value for the base in here, but it's not stopping everybody else from wanting to pick up this product. Right now, base floor level for these box to the moon? Yeah. Right now, this set is gaining immense value as we speak, and they're selling. I like wild cakes actually see here look at this 83 82 85 doesn't matter if the average consumer wants to, these are all look at this this is all 75 82 82 82 there were a few 71s that creeped in here but they're gone all right so once again i understand that some people don't want to pay this value other people are willing to pay it so yeah the value has been gained for this so what's going on in the rest of the market here Ah, oh, F-Zeros are pushing down. Who would have guessed? Lightning Storm still floating about the $60 mark. Uh, Giltia. I still can't believe people are paying this for this. Imperial Bower. I really wouldn't call this Imperial Blower, but $20. Uh, Arcane and I Triumph Joker, $20. Lowest. Um, nice Joker's Night, $20. None of these values are going to hold. All right. Not even those expense, well, okay, correction. The value boxes will probably hold, but uh, yeah, this set's literally a clown car. Just going. All right, well, that's enough King's Court. Ah, didn't we, didn't we talk about this? Didn't we talk about this on Sunday? Wasn't this like $60? No, wait a minute, no, wait a minute, Robbie. Robbie, 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 Robbie. What do you mean? What do you mean the English copies have gone up? Do you guys know there's an FTK with this right now in the format? Um. If I get time, I might do a little semi-video on it, but uh, it's all Tamaya shenanigans. It's the Machu Miku, uh, OTK, FTK, but hey, man, you want Spanish? 50 bucks does the same thing. It saves you $20 on that, but uh, they're going up. Is there a reason why they should be going up? There's an FTK, like I said, but it's it's nothing consistent right now. That should be pushing this card on the roller coaster of life that it's going. All right, huh? You guys remember this card, right? Uh, this is a daily reminder to everybody that uh, even though we all don't like this card, there's still only thirty three listings available for this card. Wow, some sold. Wow, eighty five dollars. One sold for ninety five. 
Why would you buy a Dragoon for 95? Hold up here, what's available? <laughs> Why would you buy a Dragoon for 95? Did the ver did the verified mean that much to you? Like, look, you, you can buy $85. Okay, I'm moving along. OTS six, what's going on here? Oh, some cheap cyber dragon, two twenty five. Droplet at like two eighty ish, give or take. Ooh, we have an Italian one here for two hundred and seventy dollars. Okay, firewall dragon at fifty nine. Nerval's under seven bucks. Sure, uh, Abaya's at seven bucks. Quinglong gates only eight of these. Buy out. Hmm. 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 Interesting. Huh. I'm also liking these random Italian listings here from PPG. Those are uh, pretty cute. Uh, honestly, I don't know what else to say about this set. Like, this set's been pushing down for quite a little while, but really, here we are at this point in time. So. Yay! What a set! Alright, what else is going on in today's market? Drill Warrior First Edition. I feel like every time we do a market watch, this card's like our sub meme here. First Ed sold for 60 bucks on 6 3. That was the last real record, at least any time, of a first ed going. Light play for 60. You're looking at lowest available right now for first ed on the Drill Boy at 100 bucks. If you want genuine near mint. Light play sometimes does the same crap if you're going to play it. But for collectability, that's a big yikes. Spear Cretan. Why am I looking up Spear Cretan? <sighs> Who's the person that recommended DT Spear Cretan? This, uh, this monster says flip. Alright, I'm out. Um, these are pennies on, on the stonk. Alright, like these are on the stonk meter. Alright, these are so stonky stonk McStonkington. That, like, you could fuel a stonk with this. Nice meme. Talents. Are right, talents? Talents doing things? Ooh. What's going on with talents? Ooh, those are 120, 120, 115. Were those talent? Ooh. Talents went back up. Don't you love when your metagame staples do the, the, the thingy thingy and they go uppy uppy? Wow. All right. 120 bucks back on those bad boys. All right. Remember when they were a hundo? I remember. Ah, Utopia Ray Victory. These are expensive. Ah, this card attacks your opponent, can I activate spell or trap cards till you undamage them. If it has a Utopia monster, excuse me, trail gains this effect. When this card declares an attack on a face of monster, opponent controls, detach an excuse me, trail from this card, negate that a face of monster's effect, and this card gains attack equal to that monster's attack. These changes last till the end of the turn. Uh, but if you want this bad boy right here, that's that's fifty dollars. Buy one. Ugh, these are really fifty bucks. Yeah, we've come a long way. If you want a crap version, these are also twenty dollars for base rarity. Ah, uh, thank you, Judgment of the Light. I always knew this car was always going to be kind of worth something, but like, well, actually, one sold for twenty bucks. All right, torrential tributes. I see one here for 16 for a secret. What are Hobby Leagues at? This is the only one I'm really kind of curious about. Uh, 25, 20, 30. Yike. 32? Yeah, 30, 30 plus on TTs for Hobby League. I don't really recommend going down this path, to be honest with you, but some people do like the really weird... Rarities. Duels leaks for 17 bucks. It's an Italian blue for 20? Huh. Well. Alright, moving on along. Lava Golem, first edition. Oh boy. It's a first dead lobby going for today. I bet I'll. Alright. Take me to the first editions. Light play. 34. Yikes. That's a lot. Alright, first edition near mint. $60. Good frickin' luck. Ain't paying that. Ain't nobody paying that. Uh, Purple Nightfall. Huh. Seven bucks. Seven bucks. Uh, but a first edition is where you're actually gonna get destroyed for this card. 
Uh, actually, oh, just kidding. They're like eight bucks now. All right, eight, eight, nine bucks. Huh, nine bucks. Interesting. Uh, Rose Starlights still three hundred eighty dollars. I love these Kagari alternate arts pushing down the price. Literally a clown car in here. All right. Hey, look at that. I have the heavy play. I have the lowest. Very nice. Outside of that's like two hundred bucks. Yeah, good luck with that. Sky Striker stuff still maintains the king of value. Yeah, Rose is still forty dollars. Yikes. Ah, hey, look, Ash Blossoms. It is here to once again show you that first edition Ash Blossoms. One sold for a hundred, hundred plus. All right, well, hey guys, first edition matters on your cards. Who would have guessed? You have two options when reprints come. You keep the original first editions and watch them possibly go up. There's one for 95, 99, yeah, 100 ish. Yeah, about 100 ish for these. You have a couple options when the reprints come out. You either keep the first edition, watch them go to the moon, or, you know, cash out on when you can. And then last but not least here, um, TP Needleworms. Oh man, it's been a wee, wee little while here. $83 on the supers, by the way. But, if you want the big energy here, you go for the ultras. These ultras will, uh, only light plates have sold. 700 and 570. The only ones on record here. Kind of interesting, actually. Well, that's what you get for old cards. So, guys, what do you think about today's market? Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Smash that little subscribe button. Subscribe in case don't miss out more awesome content. Now, see your beautiful faces. Back you later on the day with some more cool, awesome content. Have a good rest of your day, guys. All right, peace out. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing Truffle Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Vanquil 40 for all of your Cardfight Vanguard content brought to you by Mcol 40 And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcolgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.